In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down a way that you can beat the cover three deep over uh, a one play touchdown from the gun bunch offset in the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you've never been to my channel before, basically what I do on my channel is I do Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day. We do about four of these a day that just give you some food to chew on, something to think about, a route concept that you can apply, maybe a, um, a blitz or a defense that you can use to stop the run or to counter some of the things that you may be facing online. So uh, real quick, I wanted to jump into what I believe to be probably the best gun bunch right now. I think everyone's kind of on that consensus. This gun bunch offset specifically for this play right here, double post, which is probably the best play in Madden 21. But what we're going to be doing is showing you a play that you can use in combination with that play that is going to help you torch the cover three defense over the top for a one play touchdown. So if you guys are interested in getting better at the game, I'd highly encourage you to subscribe. And we're going to be going over the play smash return. Um, now, smash return is a very unique play from this playbook. It's a very good play from this playbook very effective as well against the most coverages including the cover three defense now all we're going to do to make this into a cover three baiter is we're just going to put our uh, slot receiver on a streak and what you're going to see at the snap of the ball is if they're in cover three um, it is going to be a one play touchdown now real quick because practice mode is a little bit uh, a little bit crazy with the sheds that they can get from the uh, just standard three down lemon rush I'm going to show you this without those uh, linemen, just put them back off. And what you're going to see here is this is a one-play touchdown against cover three. You're going to pass lead it to the outside, um, and Brown is going to be wide open. So let me show you what's happening here in instant replay. And this is what makes this tight end route so powerful, in my opinion. Um, but basically, um, what you're going to see here is because the tight end corner route is kind of a wiggly corner, and it gets him to the outside um, really, really quickly within this play, What's going to happen is, see how he wiggles here, and now he is the outside man between these two uh, players, and he's running the corner. That cornerback's principal tells him he's got to come down on squat on that corner route, leaving this guy, and this safety cannot get over there fast enough. And we're going to see here, we're going to be able to pass lead it to the right and get a nice one-play touchdown over the top of the defense. So this is a very, very simple uh, play that you can use. And there's a lot you can do with this play as well. Um, for example, if I wanted to take Godwin and just put him on a basic flat route, you see now I have a, essentially a flood concept to the right side of the field. Um, Godwin's route, I really like it um, against man-to-man -man coverage as well. If they're in man, really any coverage Godwin, um, this, little, this little smash return route does really, really good. As you see, it's going to get underneath most of the zones. And it's going to be very, very effective. Now, if they're running something like a cover, um, like a cover three cloud coverage, what you're going to see here is same kind of thing. Um, and this is, you know, what I really like to do against most cover three clouds this year is something like this because I find a lot of people that use cover three clouds they use them for that outside third because that outside third is going to be able to, you know, basically get over the top of most of what people are going to do. And what you'll see here, again, that little one play over the top. If we had a faster receiver there, um, if I had if I had Scotty Miller there, that would probably um, be an easy laser for Tom Brady to hit. But as soon as he comes off right there, and it's, it's a tender throw against that cloud coverage. But again, if you have like a Scotty Miller um, or some kind of fast guy like a Marquise Brown and Mutt or something like that, you know, just some, you know, this thing's going to roast. Um, but as you can see, um, the window is a little bit tighter on the cover three cloud. It's still there. Um, again, it just comes down to timing and what you're going to see here. We'll show it to you one more time here, but right, right there, get that hard left pass lead. And that's what we're looking for right there to Antonio Brown over the top. So that, that route is going to force them to do different things with their coverage. One of the things they're going to probably do, um, is go into some type of, uh, deep half situation where they're basically deep halfing their safeties and that's when this play becomes basically just a basic flood concept and what you're going to see is this tight end is going to come wide open and be an absolute laser against that deep half coverage so you really have some really really good routes um, on that right side of the field from the bunch side to really be able to take advantage of what the defense is going to try to do especially if they're trying to do any sort of cover three um, this thing's going to torch it and crush it over the top and or just easily work the ball down the field now you do have this really powerful 
um, little dig route here on the left side, and I'll show you that real quick. Uh, this dig route is pretty good. Um, I like to high point it and aggressive catch it. As you can see, it gets over top of the yellow zones and a nice little check down for you. So that is a very solid cover three beater from the gun bunch offset in the Carolina Panthers playbook. Um, if you have not already signed up for the text message membership, we're releasing a full Carolina uh, gun bunch offset mini guide today. In that, I'm going to be over an hour of material on the gun bunch and explaining kind of what the theories are behind it and what you can learn about gun bunch. So if you want to learn a little bit more about gun bunch, just shoot me a text and I can shoot you that video uh, as soon as it's released. My number is 812. 216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. And if you haven't joined my Discord yet and you want to compete, maybe meet some more uh, like-minded Madden players that are all trying to get better, I'd highly encourage you to do that. Completely free to do that, and that link is in the description of the video as well. Thank you guys for your time. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. We'll see you later on tonight on our live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time right here on our YouTube channel. We stream every night at 10 o'clock. See you there.